This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. Check out our YouTube original channel, UCTV Prime, at youtube.com slash UCTV Prime. Subscribe today to get new programs every week. Oh yeah? That drinking fountain? That drinking fountain. Does it work? And I just thought it was a water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I saw more of a practical use. I mean, you know, art I don't really consider. I don't, I don't mean to offend anyone or anything, but like, I would have never thought water fountain was going to be a piece of art. So that's part of the Seward Art Collection? It is. Oh, I, I didn't know that. It, it is kind of random, like, it, like, you know, you have this like green, like patch of grass and trees, and then there's just like a random water fountain right there. I it's never like noticed our it. Thirst for nature. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Safe topic. <laughs> Do you think you'll look at it differently now that you walk by it, knowing that it's public art? <laughs> yeah. Of course I. Will. I might drink from it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> might have to test it out. It's really made by Dutch, but it does attract them. The prize recognition call is very personal. Well, I'm not sure what the concept behind it is, but I think it's pretty cool that we have a talking tree. Sometimes it comforts me and sometimes it scares me like that one time that I was playing kind of scary music. It like, creeps me out. I think um, the silent tree is a little disappointing. I wish it did something else, like, I don't know, rhyme or something. I wish that they look more like trees, like not just dried up, but like they had some sort of leaves or something. I usually watch really, really late, like around 2, 3 a.m. So that's the only thing talking on campus, so it's cool. I hear it almost every night sometimes. It's the most friendly tree. Everybody uh, is able to identify UCSD and Sun God together, so they, they go hand in hand. It's kind of like our second mascot almost, yeah. I feel like. Even we just were like, oh, where are you at? Like the Sun God statue, like it's easy to identify. It's like colorful, big. I mean, I think it looks great, like artistically. I think it looks awesome, you know, on a, especially just in like the middle of the lawn, just looks like kind of organic, you know. Definitely visually, I think it's very cool piece of artwork. I'd probably say maybe my favorite art piece on the UCSD campus, right? except for the library. Library takes it. Besides <laughs> that, though, I'd say probably Sun God statue. It's really nice um, when it's really sunny. You can catch the uh, the light off the crown and it glows, and so it's, it is like a sun yeah. god. Yeah. Everything else is so eccentric that I think people have trouble identifying with the art on campus, like the giraffe yeah. catchers or the giant red chair. You know, they they they. Uh, have a, it's a lot harder to abstract meaning from them. Yeah. And Sun God is like, oh, it's something that you can worship like the sun. Yeah. And something you worship to have sun around. I happen to be a fan of all religions together, and I feel like kind of the epitome of that is a sun god, because it's the most obvious god you can think of. Yeah, I think it's a symbol of you know, kind of just togetherness, you know, everybody having the same god, just kind of everybody having the same understanding. It's been an incredible process watching it be constructed, I guess. You know, honestly, I haven't really given it much thought. I feel as though if they explained the art piece better, then we would be more open to trying to figure out what it is. I know my friends kind of look at it as just another piece of art to just add to the campus. I know that a lot of people were not supportive of it because they thought that university money was going towards it, but it's all private donations. Um, and I think the thing I like about it is that it gives a little bit of a softer, non-institutional feel to this pretty institutional place. It's on the engineering building, and it looks like bad engineering, but it actually took a lot of engineering effort to make it look unconventional and bad. 
like like it is bad engineering the result of bad engineering i want to study up there all the time sometimes ucsd can be a little stressful because of how structured it is just like given this building it's really structured it's very concrete it's not very welcoming so i feel like when you add that it adds more to the imagination and it makes it a little more creative and a little more balanced kind of how we should be like not always so structured and so focused on studying but once in a while have a little craziness and relax kind of like that building